I want to be a professional wrestler because that's my thing, and that's where the money's at. I want to be big time. Why do I want to be a pro wrestler? Because that's all I know how to be. I said, one day, I'm going to be a professional wrestler. Other kids want to be a teacher or doctor. I wanted to be a wrestler. My name is Bill Behrens. I'm the guy who decides who becomes a pro wrestler. I am the ringmaster. Notice him on the screen. Holy crap, turn around, here he comes, kick to the stomach, boom. Boom! You, yeah, you. That was it. Bill Barons, he's the man around in the South. Everybody knows him. He's been around the business 35 years, if not longer. I mean, he's just, he is the business. My primary job is developing talent. Booking is the process of building support for the talent that you want the people to dislike and build support for the talent you want people to like. You're making stars on both ends if you do it right. In fact, if you want, if you want to use the bandanas as your hot start to the match, you could. Generally, he, he's about a $300 rental plus trans, so, I mean, that, that's the kind of rate you'd get. Meeting Bill was probably the best thing that's happened to me. I started wrestling around 99, 98, and then in 2000, I, I met Bill Barons and sent him a tape, and my career started really taking off there. It's a unique breed of people that get drawn to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm working a job that I don't want to work, but it pays my bills. The bottom line is this, when I'm 60 years old and I look back and I'm like, man, well, you know, what I do with my life? Even if I come up short, I can at least say I went after it and I gave it my best. It ain't fake, it's fixed. Everything we do is real, everything we do. If I hit you in the head with this belt, it's gonna hurt. But with fucking a thousand people out there cheering your name, the adrenaline takes over and it doesn't hurt right then. But it's gonna hurt in an hour when I go to the hotel. So I'm gonna eat two Lord tabs and I'm gonna smoke a joint, eat some Waffle House and go to bed. Milk it, milk it, milk it finally get, you know, buck up on him. Don't let him respond. You get mad at his, you know, sitting there with a stupid grin on his face, which he'll have. When you're sitting there half naked in front of a group of people, and most people don't do that. I don't know if you've heard of it, but I coined the phrase, the disease, obsessive wrestling disorder. This is all I've wanted to do my whole life. If I make it to the WWE or TNA or whatever the big thing is, if I don't make it, I'm just glad to say that, you know, I did what I wanted to do. Not a lot of people can say that. We think we are uh, still that character, and we just stay in gimmick all the time, and that's what ruins our lives. you got to leave it in this building. When we leave, we got to go back home and be daddy, and be a husband, and loyal companion to your family. And I never separated the two. I just party with every chick coming along. Here we go. Let's go turn into J.C. Ice. People like to say wrestling isn't real. When I tell someone they're not going to make it, that they're going to have to lose, that's pretty fucking real. It's difficult, like, when, you know, when I have to argue it with Bill, you know, like, hey, Bill, you know, like, what are you talking about? I'm not losing to this guy. What would I do to be a pro wrestler? I mean, there's not a lot that I wouldn't do. I would give up anything to be a professional wrestler. What would I do to be a pro wrestler, man? About anything, just to live the dream. I get to be the guy that, you know, has the elephants going in a circle and it's all pretty good and everybody's doing their tricks and then there's a big kaboom at the end and the guys crisscross in the air and everybody applauds and that's the holy grail.